Hey guys, so today I want to talk to you about how saying yes changed my life. There was a point in my life where I said no to basically everything. I refused to go out with my friends, I refused to even go out in general. I would say no, even if it was just to hang out. All I really liked to do was play video games. Now that was just one of many reasons why I said no, but that was my main excuse. I was pretty content with myself back then, so nothing really intrigued me. And I'm sure there's many of you out there that have your own separate excuses or ways of getting out of situations. So everything changed for me once I watched a comedy movie called Yes Man, starring Jim Carrey as Carl back in December 2008. Carl was a man who said no to essentially everything until he went to a seminar that promoted the word yes. Basically, you would say yes to everything, which was hosted by the man behind the scenes of the Saw movies, Terrence Stamp. So at that point, you really don't have a choice but to say yes and follow the rules. So Jim Carrey, being one of my favorite actors back in the day, made that movie a little bit more inspiring to me. That movie inspired me to say yes more frequently, even if I dreaded the idea. I remember the first day I decided to put this rule in place when a bunch of my friends came over and asked me to go out with them. I didn't want to go. I was too busy playing my games. I had an event going on and had no reason to go at all. But instead I did say yes. And in doing so I ended up going out having a great time with friends. We were just, nothing big. We were just enjoying each other's company. And at first I did dread it. I didn't want to be there. But at the end of the day I enjoyed everything. So saying yes felt good and I wanted that feeling to continue. Since the movie came out in December there was only a couple more weeks before New Year's. So my New Year's resolution was to say yes more frequently. With that extra commitment of saying yes, I was saying yes to getting out more, hanging out with friends, stepping away from the computer, stepping away from all my games, and enjoying it. All the experience I was having, I was learning, I was feeling happy being around my friends and, and exploring the world and seeing how much more it can offer. And the more I said yes, the more comfortable I felt. I was willing to take bigger risks in life. And saying yes allowed me to open up my horizons, explore new things, and saying yes doesn't always mean a positive thing is going to come out of it. There are still negatives that come out of it, but I learned so much from those experiences. Regardless if it was positive or negative, there was still so much to learn. Saying yes made me chase the things that I really wanted in life. So back then, things were simple. You know, I wanted earrings, so I got earrings. Next up was, you know, I've always wanted to ride a motorcycle my entire life, and despite what everyone said and, the, you know, the dangers of, of it all, it's something I really wanted to do and so I went out and bought myself a motorcycle. Till this day, best decision of my life. Yes, there's a lot of dangers to it, but I feel so free on it and it's a good stress reliever for myself. The next biggest thing would be me quitting my job. That was scary and so, but in the end I just kept saying yes and I kept moving forward and yes it was a struggle, but I am where I am now because of that and I couldn't be happier. This year alone my life has been filled with adventures I would never have thought of being on. I even got to meet amazing people, get advice from them, listen to their stories and learn from them. I made yes my motivation. Back in the day I used to weigh roughly 200 pounds or so. I used to have these internal arguments with myself saying, you know, you want to go to the gym but you're too lazy to go out there and do it. You start making excuses. Instead, use yes to help yourself get out and ju just do it. What I used to do is set a time for myself to go to the gym. In the beginning, I never really adhered to that time, but slowly I was getting there. But I got into the habit where just telling myself, yes, I'm going to go. And as much as I did not want to go, and God did I really not want to go. I just got up, started putting my shoes on, getting ready, and walked out the door. I kept fighting myself the entire, the entire drive to the gym. I was dreading it. I told myself, do I want to go to the gym? Yes. I did. I really wanted to get fit and healthier, and so I did. And within the first three months, I lost roughly 35 pounds. I went from 200 pounds to 165, which was my all-time lowest. So after three months, I felt comfortable going to the gym. So I want to encourage you all to say yes, but only say yes to things that is going to help benefit you or someone else. You don't want to do something negative where it's going to hurt yourself, someone, or something. And that's all for today's vlog, guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed my first vlog tip. So don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and maybe share this with your friends. And always follow your passion and stay committed. Until next time, this is not staying fit. Oh, mm -mm.